Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here with Benny. Today I'm going to be doing a couple of adventures. The first one is I'm going to be heading over to Lindemann Lake. Small little lake, but a beautiful one. It's a 45 minute hike uphill. Very easy hike. It's not difficult. And then after that, I'm going to go over to a public campsite that I booked for the night. I know it's not my usual backcountry stuff. Usually I prefer the backcountry stuff, but Every so often I'd like to just not think about it and drive in and bring my cooler and some other food. So I'll be doing that. I'll take you guys along with me and hopefully you enjoy this video. And if you do, as per always, if you have some time, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, made it to Lindemann Lake parking lot. Uh, just gonna get my boots on, get my bag set up, get my water in there, and then we'll get uh, started on the old hike. See you guys in a second. All right, I'm ready to get started and kick off this trail. Like I said, it's about a 45 minute hike uphill. Pretty easy hike, so let's get into it. So I used to come to this trail quite often before uh, there was a massive parking lot that was built. It was just kind of like a yellow uh, sort of bar that you had to jump over and get into the trail, but now it's kind of wide open. There's tons and tons of people. And unfortunately, a lot of these people don't really care about nature or their backyard and they leave garbage around such as this. Frustrating. You see tons of garbage along the way. People just don't care. So I'll be taking this with me. Throw it in my backpack and any other garbage I see along the way. All right, let's keep going.
All right, so this is the part where it kind of starts to flatten out. So we're pretty much already there. It's about 10 minutes away. Like I said, it's a really easy hike. I mean, it's more difficult when you're carrying like a 40, 50 pound pack because you can camp up there. Uh, I spoke to a couple of people along the way and they said there was only one tent uh, platform left. And here at Lindemann Lake, it's first come, first serve, like you don't reserve it. So one tent platform left. Like I said, it's super busy. And so the where I'm just I've just started. I'm not going to go actually go there today, but uh, this is the trail to Green Drop Lake. Exactly, you can't see it. It's all boulders. Not my most enjoyable hike, to be honest with you. It's all boulders and like ankle turners and stuff, but. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start heading my heading back down and uh, start heading over to my campsite. Hey guys, I'm back from Lindemann Lake. I made it down in about 20 minutes. I basically ran the whole way. Uh, but I'm gonna head out from here and head over to my camp spot, which is over in Maple Ridge. So a bit of a drive from Chilliwack, but I'm on my way and should be good. See you guys when I get there. All right guys, made it. So I'm at the Golden Ears campsite. Now I just gotta find out where my site is. I got a map here, I'm gonna try and figure it out. Should be pretty easy. It's a pretty big uh, area though. Lots of campsites. So let's try and find this. All right, found my spot. It's right here. Sweet. So I have never seen so many caterpillars before for this long. There's tons of them everywhere. I come here often and to be honest, I've never seen this many caterpillars. It's crazy. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Anyway, before I set up my tent, I'm going to get my food sorted because I'm starving. It's like two, almost three o'clock. So I'm going to eat first. All right, so I am starving. It's almost three o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. Uh, so I'm gonna crush this bottle of Kraft Dinner. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta have a box of Kraft Dinner. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat first before I set up my tent and then uh, set up the tent and get all my stuff sorted there. And then I'm gonna go adventure off somewhere and try to get to the lake. So.
think it needs more milk. Spin a little bit there. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna sort of go through some of the things that I bring along with uh, drive-in camping. Um, so first, the, the pillow that I typically use, it's this Thermarest pillow. It's very, very comfortable, easily washable. Uh, it's clunky, it takes up a lot of space, so that's why I only use it for drive-in camping. I use my uh, inflatable pillow, uh, the other one I have, I'll show it on a different video, but yeah, this is super comfortable. I sleep very well with it. Uh, <clears throat> my sleeping bag I'll be using is uh, minus seven degree. Uh, I don't need minus seven degree. I could have used a much smaller, lighter one, like thinner one. This is overkill really for the temperatures. Temperatures are about 28 degrees Celsius. And I'll give that to you guys in Fahrenheit. <clears throat> but it's, yeah, it's a minus uh, seven marmot sleeping bag. Very, very comfortable. I'll probably just use it for extra cushioning tonight. I won't even probably get inside of it. And then, uh, yeah, the air mattress I use, and I have been using for some time now, is Gear Doctor's uh, air mattress. So I haven't had any issues with it. Honestly, it works well for me. It doesn't lose air. It's comfortable laying on your side and on your back. And it comes with the inflatable sack as well. So you can just use that. And yeah, honestly, it's been pretty, pretty damn good. Pretty impressed with it uh, so far. So I'll keep using it and uh, testing it and see how it goes. But my tent, I'm using a Camper 2. It's just an MEC brand tent. Nothing special. It's really meant for summer. It's not meant for like cold fall to winter. Um, it does the job for me. But uh, yeah, so that's what I brought with me today. A couple other small knickknacks. Uh, and things and tools that I use uh, for camping, but that's pretty much it, I guess. So I'm on a bit of an adventure again, walking just along a trail here to try and find Alouette Lake. Apparently it's about a 10 minute walk from my campsite to the lake. So far, great trip. Lindenman Lake was awesome earlier today. Beautiful lake. It wasn't actually that busy either. Uh, the campgrounds here are very busy. I can't believe I got a spot. I have no idea. Somebody must have canceled last last second because he thought it was going to rain or something but i got very lucky and actually the spot i'm in is pretty decent too yeah so i'm on my way trying to find that lake i gotta take you guys there when i get there
steak is delicious. So good. <clears throat> I cooked it perfectly. Kind of wish there was like rice with it though, but uh, so good. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this off and I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm tired. <laughs> Very tired. But um, I will see you guys in the morning. Good night.